Hello, I'm Scott Smith. I'm Tanya Smith. Welcome to the Turpentine Creek Podcast. I am Emily McCormick, the staff zoologist and also the volunteer coordinator at Turpentine Creek. And this week is spring break for a lot of people. And I am once again, um, we are hosting the First United Methodist Church youth from Rogers, Arkansas for their sixth year are here helping us with another habitat construction. Um, behind me is uh, two of the youth, um, Sarah and Christina. They have been working on building benches. We've had uh, six different people, donors of the refuge, donate the money to build benches for the cougars and also some of the other pre-existing habitats. And then um, Lynn McNutt um, is our big donor for this uh, enclosure here, which is uh, costs about twenty thousand um, dollars. Besides all of the labor and, and the free labor we get by the volunteers coming here, so um, she has supported and d given the money for this enclosure. And when the kids got here this Monday, we had absolutely no wire on the walls of this habitat, and as you can see, they are almost um, have almost completed the whole thing in, a, in two days' time. They are climbing on ladders, um, hanging different strips, and it almost is looking professional because this is their sixth year doing it. Some kids are new this year, but other kids have been here all six years and thoroughly enjoy um, spending their spring break instead of vacationing somewhere. I'm here working all day long to help these animals. All right, this is Gabe Fountain. He's part of the First United Methodist Church Youth. And um, Gabe, tell us a little bit about why you've been coming here for the last um, six years. I just come here because it's great to work with all the cats and to just do stuff for animals and to like spread God's word and everything. I've been coming here about six years every spring break and it's been a lot of fun. And help build a lot of habitats. A lot of habitats. <laughs> now I'm here with Sarah Heimbacher, who's also part of the First United Methodist Church Youth. What do you got, Sarah? Why you been coming here? Well, let's... Um, I started coming here because my sister told me it was like really fun, so I was like, oh, I'll try it out. And it's a blast. I get to climb up on the fences and paint and tie wire. And I love being able to see the progress we make when we, we build habitats, and the next year we get to move down from those and help the animals is really awesome. It's really <laughs> if you'd like to volunteer with your group, just email me at emily at turpentinecreek.org. Hi, I'm Pat Quinn. I'm the secretary here at Turpentine Creek. I've been here for almost 11 years. I moved down here from Michigan just to be with the cats. I love the place. I've been a secretary all my life, and I have a great deal of fun doing all the work. Um, I'm the first contact when anybody emails something at Turpentine Creek. It comes into me, and then I send the emails out to everybody else who has to have them. If you send a donation, I'm the one who sends out the thank you letter for you. If you do an adoption or a sponsorship, I process that as well after I get all the pictures from Scott, who does all of our pictures. Uh, anything that comes through here that has a monetary value, it eventually hits my desk. So if there's a mistake in your paperwork, I'm the one to contact. <laughs> this is the desk, and it looks organized, but it's controlled chaos. This stack of paperwork right here is about 75 adoptions that need to be processed. As soon as I get the pictures from Scott, I'll do the letters for you. And once the letters are done, yesterday, since we had a, th a thunderstorm, I worked on doing stuff I didn't have to do on the computer. So here's all the envelopes for all the adoptions. And when they're all ready to go, they get put in the mail, and you'll have your adoption package in the next couple of weeks. Thank you very much. This is Hercules. He's been with us since shortly after I came. I came in June of 1998. I think Hercules came in July of 98. If you can see his back, he's crippled along his back. Hercules is about 13 years old. He came to us in 1998, shortly after I got here. Um, he was very emaciated. He, as you can see by the pictures of him walking, he has scoliosis of the spine. His back legs are deformed. That's all due to uh, insufficient diet and he was also kept in a five by five foot cage by his first owner before we got to him. Um, when we got him he could hardly walk. He's gained probably a hundred pounds since we've gotten him. Last year in June he got, went into a habitat and he absolutely loves being on the grass. Um, he's very ferocious. Even though he's crippled he has his claws, he has his teeth and they all work very well so you have to be very very careful with him. Uh, he's one of our favorite cats here and we're happy that he's part of our family. Come out and see him, and he's still up for adoption, so if you want to send us 100 bucks, 
You can get a picture of them and have them on your adoption. Thank you so much. Good job. You got him. You got him. Good boy.